Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create draft feature with Creo Parametric 5.0. We will start from scratch again and we will create new 3D model. We can start with standard modeling by extrude feature. And in this case, we can create some really easy rectangle. So for example, the symmetric rectangle. Specify dimensions and confirm OK. With Creo 5.0, it's possible right now to create a draft feature if the object includes rounds and chamfer. So for example, here I will create two round features and then some modification with chamfer. Yeah. And again, we can add some round feature. You can choose the feature from the ribbon or from the flyout menu. So it's up to you and some dimension. So imagine that you create some shape of the 3D model or your model is imported. So you can see here that Right now, we have a couple of features in the model tree. For example, if you would like to hide the your know-how, how you build this 3D model, you can select necessary feature and in the option tab over here in the editing is the collapse feature. Confirm OK. And right now you can see that the system will create something like imported geometry. So nobody knows how you create it and you lost your references. So it was example how to hire your know-how. And right now I'm going to focus on the draft feature with Creo 5.0. Create and select the draft feature is really easy. What you need to select is select individual surfaces. And if you use the right mouse button, you can see here that it's possible to select draft hinge. It's the same like with Creo 2, 3, 4 and so on. But with Creo 5.0, if you select draft hinge, you select the surface and the model include round and chamfer. It's really easy to create a draft feature. So it was really quick example. What is new with Creo 5.0 for the draft feature? Bye bye. Vladimir.